Okay, we're back. Uh, our watercolor is dried and I hope you enjoyed the first part of our lesson. Uh, we laid down our dark, star, uh, dark uh, background behind our moon. We put in uh, the basic wash of the moon. And now I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna uh, crispen up the edge of the moon, which is my own personal preference. You don't have to. Um, some people prefer like a real watercolor kind of look and let the edges uh, kind of do what they do. Um, I, I wanna get a nice crisp edge to this, uh, to this shape. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take um, any kind of round object. This one just happens to be a roll of tape. And I'm gonna take a white Prismacolor pencil and I am going to just break my point. And we'll sharpen that up. And we'll just go around the edge and we're just basically creating a nice clean shape around the moon. <laughs> and that's just a guide and we can go in with uh, more opaque whites and uh, crispen that edge up. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with a little bit smaller brush than we used for the, uh, for the basic wash. And this here is a uh, Kalinske Sable number two. And I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna use, I'm gonna keep the same color, color scheme. And I'm gonna go back in with a little bit of Cerulean Blue. And, um, and I'm just gonna kind of, in layers, go over and create little shapes on top of the wash that we previously put down. And this will create um, a little bit more of a, uh, of a, uh, a volume, a three-dimensional effect. And uh, we'll go in there with here, put in, define that crater. Maybe a little bit over here. And we're just letting it blend. And you can see how the moon is starting to have all these nice little shapes and forms. And you can create that kind of rounded shape as it tapers out around the edge. Okay. And you can go in and add as much detail as you want. We're keeping it basic right now. Um, and at this point, now I'm gonna take a old beat up toothbrush. And um, as long as it has fairly, um, fairly hard bristles, that'll flick nicely. You take Createx white airbrush collar and make sure that it's opaque because you want the uh, stars to really sh uh, show up well. And you just put a, a, a dab of the white paint on the edge of the, t of the toothbrush. You don't want to put too much because as you hold your toothbrush over the board, it may drip and create a much bigger splat than you'd like. Hold the toothbrush uh, a few inches off the board and just gently flick straight down. Now that creates the very fine stars. When you want to create the thicker stars, add a little bit more and flick a little bit harder and let the paint kind of drip. And then you will get these nice larger shaped drips. Okay. We'll wash off our brush because once this stuff dries on your, on your brushes, on your toothbrush, it's done. There's no, uh, there's no washing it out. Okay. Now, at this point, I am going to take a very, very, very fine brush. It's, a, uh, it's an American Painter 18-0. And before, these, before this paint dries, 
I am going to just take some of the larger splats and just push very lightly out to the edges. And what that does is create a little bit of a, a, a twinkle. And very, very lightly, so it almost tapers out. And you do it in an X pattern. You could even go across one more time. And it creates these little glowing stars. Just one here, one there, just all, o you know, all over. OK. Um, you could also take your, your white paint if you prefer to clean up the uh, edges a little bit uh, with your fine brush. And you can just go around the edge and just define that circle a little bit more. Okay. Okay. Um, you could even go in with the with the uh, with the white acrylic, and you can go back in and and even add in these in the wash um, white white shapes, white little you know white little uh, highlights where the craters are, and it just creates that much more of a dimension. You can um, add uh, like a highlighted rim around some of the craters. Uh, you can go in and add as much detail as you'd like. For this lesson, we're going to keep it. Uh, simple, and I think I want a little twinkle right here. There. Okay. And as the last step, I'm going to take out my airbrush and um, it, do a very, very basic airbrush technique. It's really just taking white paint and creating a glow around everything um, to create. Uh, you know, uh, somewhat of a light effect. I use an I Iwata HPC, which is a very medium sized airbrush. And I'm just going to put a little bit of white paint in there. And on a cloth, we're just going to make sure that it's flowing well. And with the stars, just hold the airbrush up and very slowly just sp spray a light glow around right on top of that dot in the middle of the stars. And then as the final touch, we're just going to take the airbrush and um, this takes a little bit of practice, um, but if you go nice and lightly and build up slowly, uh, it's not that difficult and we're just going to go right around the edge. And you could keep going and get as, as dark or light as you'd like. Um, basically, you have your star field, your glowing stars. You can um, go back in with a nice uh, circle template and really create a crisp outline. You can go back in with the airbrush and actually darken up some of the, uh, some of the spots on the stars. You can do many different things. But right now, we're going we're gonna to stop. We have our, 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 um, our background, our twinkle. We have our moon with uh, some detail. And thank you for watching this uh, lesson. And you can check out more of my art at www.flamart.com and check out paint, Drawing Paint Fantasy Females by Tom Fleming. Thank you.